We now have six confirmed classes for Space Marine 2. These classes are going to be available in both co-op operation missions and PvP game modes. With the recent trailer, we got a small glimpse into what these classes will hold. And in this video, I want to try and do a full breakdown of what we've seen so far and cover some of the stuff that we may have missed. Adding to this, we have a brand new developer interview that goes into even more detail on some of these classes and confirms what they will bring to the battlefield. Now, if you haven't been following the recent news for Space Marine 2, the six confirmed classes are Tactical, Assault, Vanguard, Bulwark, Sniper, and Heather. Firstly, let's start with some new information about classes, and this is coming from Oliver Hollis. He is Space Marines 2's creative director. He recently sat down with Epic Games, and they did an interview, and I've taken one of the statements from that interview that really appealed to me, and it states, unlike Space Marine 2's campaign, where you play as a jack of all trades, in operations, you choose from six classes of super soldiers. Each has a different core focus and special weapon. Weapon. Some will be more suited for range combat, stealth, or taking heavy damage. Creative Director Oliver Hollis says, for instance, the Bulwark comes equipped with a combat shield and acts as your squad tank, whereas the Sniper has a camo cloak that allows them to sneak past enemies. Now let's jump into the actual classes themselves, beginning with the tactical class. This has to be one of the clearest class perks that we see throughout the trailer. Straight away, a number of things jump out. We have the player level, the player skill tree, and what appears to be a squad skill tree as well. As we discussed before in a previous breakdown video, it appears that each class will have a maximum of 25 levels, which makes a lot of sense because the class itself has 25 individual skills to choose from it looks like each time you level up your character you unlock one of these skills and if we take a closer look at these skills and the skill tree you can see the different icons it appears that you can only select one skill from each of the skill trees tier system looking at the tactical class you can see most of the skills are made up of auspic scanners which indicate different actions we see schools on some which could mean buffs to damage in a certain location that is maybe scanned we see weapons featured on the orpex scans as well which could mean that buffing of said weapon for a period of time we do see weapons like the plasma incinerator with a fire effect above it i think this may allow you to overheat this weapon more making it more effective in the game for me it seems like this class may be the main assistant providing damage buffs and reinforcing you with things like extra ammunition for your bolt rifles or maybe extra grenades to throw into combat and explode those xenos foes just like the table top i think this class will have access to most of the main weapons in the game power fists power swords chainsaws bolt rifles plasma guns etc we know other classes have access to some of these but i think that this class will have the biggest selection for you to choose from to play with in the game now not only do we get to see confirmation of the tactical skill tree we get to see something that is yet to be mentioned we get to see some icon that displays three figures which to me indicates your squad this must mean that you select something that will buff the entire squad throughout the game's combat for the tactical we see a crosshair a crosshair with a skull inside of it and a cross i think these are damage perks one's a medical perk maybe the more damage you output in the game the more health you recover and your squad mates recover around you it really looks like an exciting class and i just can't wait to get my hands on it and purge the enemies of the emperor next up is the vanguard class sadly we never get to see anything to do with the assault class but from what we saw in the trailer that class looks to be fully melee orientated where you literally strike from the skies and purge the enemies before you now with the vanguard class we see again another 25 skills split up into tiers the main one at the top being the grapple and we actually get to see that in action in the trailer as the vanguard marine shoots his grapple at an enemy and drops drags himself towards it, performing a double power kick to the face. 
Now, when it comes to Vanguard Marines in the lore, they can actually serve a lot of different roles upon the battlefield itself. Vanguard Marines can be like normal battleliner starters and share the same role and responsibility as a tactical Marine. They can take up roles like Reavers, who focus on close support, Eliminator Squads, who provide fire support with sniper rifles from a distance. They can be Suppressor Squads, who bring fire support with even more firepower to the engagement and i wonder if this class will allow you to mix some of them and bring a different method of warfare every time you engage the enemy with this class now if we look at this class's skill tree we can see a mixture of both close support skills and a lot of skills that feature the grapple and i think this class is going to be deadly in close quarters not as deadly as assault marine but still quite deadly but it will also allow you to reach certain areas your fellow squad members cannot via the grapple mechanic maybe certain maps will hold secrets and rewards that can only be accessed with this class making this class needed to be taken to activate certain game mechanics and get those rewards for more xp for overall benefits for your squad again we can see that this class has squad skills as well there's a melee skill there there's one that appears to be melee and health and one that has a skull in it i think that this class is the biggest mystery to me so far and i think it's going to be very very fun to see how it plays and see how it actually interacts on the battlefield pushing forward we come to the bulwark and as a son of dawn i have to admit i see a shield and i want to fortify my position in the trailer we got a couple of glimpses of this class and it has completely sold me nothing feels more grim dark than wielding a power sword and bashing your enemy's brains out with a shield this class looks like it's taking on the role of the blade guard veteran from the tabletop an elite warrior of the chapter who goes in and takes some of the most dangerous foes on on the battlefield and i think the skill tree confirms this we already got confirmation from the game's creative director that this class is basically the tank and you're here to bring the enemies to you and protect the the rest of your battle brothers straight away i was drawn to the main skill at the top which appears to be a banner if we're able to plant some type of standard which buffs the squad not only will that be fantastic in the game mechanic but i think it's going to look absolutely amazing as well a last stand around a banner which is blowing in the wind this is what warhammer is for me the other skills on the tree are made up of what seems to be banners and health buffs again giving us more confirmation that this class is here to keep you alive something else that caught my eye is some of the shield skills it appears that we may be getting stuff like shield bash and slams for this class as well this class of course also has the squad skills we have an egg timer more health icons and a skull I really hope that this class is able to take other type of melee weapons as well with the shield. I'd love to be able to weed like a power fist with a shield, a power axe with a shield, mace. Like these are some of the most iconic weapons that a space marine has when they come to deploy. The last skill tree we get to see belongs to the sniper class. And I think this does what it says on the tin. I personally think that this role is from the Vanguard class made into its own. We see the sniper rifle that eliminators normally wield on the battlefield and oliver hollis the game's creative director confirmed that that this class is going to be able to use stealth mechanics to bypass enemies i think that is the main skill which is located at the top of this class's skill tree we can see by the other skills that this class will mostly focus on range combat but we do get to see other skills that have combat knives and also bolt carbines so it will give you other options not to go pure sniper and allow you to get up close and personal and batter the xenos foe and i also think that this class is not only going to have the option to make itself go stealth but those of your squad members as well for a set period of time maybe there's certain swarms in games that you can't survive and you can't defeat certain bosses certain xenos that you just cannot bypass without dying so maybe that this option gives you another option to bypass the enemy and get to the objective to fulfill it and bring more death and more destruction to the xenos forces if there's something I'm looking forward to is get a lot more information in the coming weeks on these classes. I would love Saber to do a dedicated video to each class, really breaking them down and showing off what they can truly bring 
to the battlefield. But that's enough waffling from me. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully I've shown you things you may have missed. If I've missed anything, please post it down below. I would love to get more feedback, more information on this game. And wherever you are in the world, I'm hoping that you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you in the next one. Emperor Bless and bye-bye.